All right, we're gonna make a two color stamp. That is a Chinese character. First thing we need to do is set up the document. So document properties. And we're gonna switch it over to inches. Uh, inches are going to be 3.5 by five. And let's close that out. So when you click anywhere here, you see these zeros appear and that means you have it down pat then you can close it out. Alright, so go find a Chinese character that you're interested in and uh, make sure that you know what it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import mine. And We'll go, yeah, we'll do this one. I don't know the name of this, so we're going to actually make it up. All right, so here I got these two characters. They're in raster. So what I need to do is convert them over to a vector. First, I'm going to take and lock it and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, then I'm going to go and go to path, trace bitmap, I'll hit live preview, remove background, and hit OK. Then close this out. I should have two copies, so I'm going to go display mode, outline. I'm going to destroy the first one. Keep the second one. Alright, while I'm in this mode, I'm going to go to object and group, and then path break apart. I'm going to go over here and delete all these. Then I'm going to highlight all these and go path combine. Okay. Also, while I'm in this mode, this viewable mode, we're going to go to layers, go to layers, and I'm going to rename this word. And I'm going to make another called background. Okay, I'm going to put word on top. I'm going to do that by just moving this up. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to edit, cut it, make sure I highlight word and edit, paste it. This will put it on the word layer. All right, now what I'm going to do is go into object, fill and stroke. So now I can switch between layers and fill and stroke. They're both here. So for this one, I want a fill of white. Okay, and a stroke of nothing. Then I'm going to go to background. I'm going to make a giant square. And for the, the square, I want the fill to be black and the stroke to be nothing. So when I go back to display mode of normal, I should have this. Last but not least, I have to take this and I have to flip it horizontal because if I'm going to make it a stamp, it has to be the other way. All right, so I'm going to save this. It's going to be like first name, last name, color. So that'll be the inside color of the stamp. All right, next. Uh, what I want to do is take this and I'm going to take it and fill it with nothing and stroke of something. And the stroke's going to be all white. Then I'll take and lower it to 0 0.05. Alright, so this is going to be the outline. Next, I'll type in a word and I'll make this up. I do not know what this 
Chinese character is. It's just an example, but I want yours to make perfect sense, so do some research on it. And then look for a text that looks good. I don't think this is... I definitely know this is not magic, but... This looks like a very elegant font that'll match it. And also, make sure it's a little bit bigger, so... And if you want it bolder, all you do is have to go over to stroke and add a stroke around it and make the stroke also black. Now both strokes have to be white anyway, so you might as well just get that over with. So there, and the fill has to be white. And what's going to happen is I have a white and there we go. And I have to also flip that horizontal. Alright, now I'm going to save this as. I'm going to save it as outline. Alright, you have two files. A color and an outline. Both have to be laser engraved onto rubber. So make sure you get both those files on the thumb drive, and that's how you do it. Enjoy.